it's an image more in keeping with the last century than this one. But this was today on the fringes of modern Europe. These men fight for the Ukrainian government, battling to hold ground against an uprising in the east of the country. And these young recruits are training to fight them. The rebels reject the rule of the government in Kiev. They reject its plans to join the EU. Instead, they look east to Russia and want more powers for this region. The battles brought devastation to Ukraine's economic heartland. More than 5,000 people have been killed, a million and a half uprooted. But while we were filming, news came through that a peace deal has just been signed. I hope there's a ceasefire, but maybe it won't last forever, like before. People will be able to rebuild their homes, go shopping, buy food, and somehow start living again. What will happen in the future, I don't know. I can't say the war will be over. The peace deal's been brokered by France, Germany, Russia and Ukraine desperate to stop a conflict that threatens regional chaos. We now have a glimmer of hope. We have agreed on a comprehensive implementation of the Minsk agreement. But of course, concrete steps have to be made and we will be facing big hurdles. But on balance, I can say that what we've achieved today gives us more hope than if we hadn't achieved anything at all. The brief grip but no grin, as the Russian and Ukrainian presidents met. Kiev's accused Moscow of sending troops and weapons to help the rebels, an allegation Russia denies. Even so, this agreement noticeably deals with the role of outsiders. All foreign troops will pull out from Ukraine's territory. All mercenaries from Ukraine's territory, they should be withdrawn as soon as possible. It wasn't the best night of my life, but it has been a good morning because we have managed to reach a major agreement. On Saturday night, the guns are supposed to fall silent and a political process starts after that. Perhaps most importantly, this deal should mean an end to the killing. This is the forwardmost position for rebel troops. The Ukrainian forces are just a few hundred meters down that road. Under the details of this peace deal, all heavy weaponry, which we've just heard being used in the last few minutes, will have to be withdrawn. But both sides have been here before, and with so many lives lost, positions have only hardened. So restoring peace to the streets of eastern Ukraine isn't guaranteed. Ian Panel, BBC News, Donetsk.